Hi everyone, welcome to the University of Toronto, where we are thrilled to show you what Robotics for Space Exploration has in store for the 2019 University Rover Challenge. After competing in the URC for the past six years, our team of over 40 undergraduate and graduate students have been constantly innovating and iterating on our new rover designs. With our dedicated executive team of mechanical, electrical, software, science, arm, and communication sub-team leads, we are proud to present our latest rover's functionalities as well as our testing plans. The software system for this year will use Robot Operating System, or ROS. Our hardware components include Drive, ARM, and Science Arduinos, the NVIDIA Jetson board, Z stereo camera, 360 degrees IP camera, inertial navigation system, and ground station computers. All of our software subsystems are responsible for communication between each hardware component and their functionalities. Video and telemetry are handled by a 2.4 GHz wireless connection between our parabolic dish and our rover's antenna. Our autonomous system is built around both coarse and fine grain control. For avoiding the obstacle, we use the stereo camera for sim simultaneous mapping, localization, and planning. Given relative goal coordinates, the algorithm will direct a path towards the goal while avoiding the obstacles. For verification purposes, we are using Gazebo, which is an easy-to-use simulation environment that is compatible with ROS. The models of our rover and terrain, we can test the software functionalities without the need of a physical rover. Last year's Six Degree of Freedom ARM design was our best yet, meaning this year we are iterating on its success. The two main projects taken on this year are to simplify the control system wiring and to design a mimicry control system. To increase efficiency, our team has designed PCBs to read encoder information and relay the data through I2C to our main ARM control board. This year we are implementing a mimicry control system with a half-scale ARM. The system will make large-scale movements much easier for the ARM and we will use inverse kinematics for more precise motions. The shoulder and elbow linear actuators can lift 181 kilograms and 122 kilograms respectively, meaning our ARM can easily lift 5 kilograms of weight. Our control system also allows us to have fine dexterous movement to flip switches and open drawers. The six degrees of freedom allows our arm to use an Allen driver as well. Overall, the arm this year will have a more efficient system than last year's, both in user control and communications. The science challenge this year was to detect for signs of life in situ on both rock and soil samples. We decided our best approach was to use emission spectra analysis of biological substances. Our approach selectively excites flavin adenine dinucleotide molecules and searches for emissions to obtain concentrations of this life essential substance in the soil. The whole apparatus is fitted as the end effector on the arm and is repeatable, non-contact, and solid state. The systems have been iterated and improved from last year's successful design. In order to minimize weight and to allow for easier transport, we have decided to scale down our six-wheel rocker bogey suspension system with a differential bar. We have also decided to add a unique tread geometry to our polyurethane wheels, which will be manufactured with our custom mold. Our modular chassis has been redesigned to have a more compact design to leave more space for maneuvering the arm. And finally, we have also integrated our power distribution boards with our battery bay through the use of custom-made bus bars. The custom-made PCBs enable us to use less wires and makes it easier to connect and disconnect the battery bay from the chassis in case of emergencies. I lead several students in designing and cutting up PCBs for the electrical subsystem. Uh, that ranges anywhere from uh, the drive to the arm to the science subsystems. Uh, this year, the electrical team has decided to further simplify uh, our electrical designs. We've decided to uh, stick with our current designs and uh, make them more robust and efficient. Uh, to accomplish that goal, we've decided to unify all of the components across all of the different subsystems. So that includes all of our uh, ICs, all of our motor drivers, all of our interfaces. So that'll allow us to have uh, quickly swappable and uh, easily incorporatable components. So the high power subsystem this year now incorporates all of its motor drivers directly into the PCB. This saves a lot of weight and space that was used up by wires and connections between the two. Uh, we've also gone through uh, to power the system directly from the batteries through a bus bar. This uh, saves space and weight and allows us to have a more power efficient delivery system. Uh, we've also added several key safety features like an emergency stop and individually controlled relays for each subsystem so it allows us to control these uh, components and turn them on and off. We've also added several monitoring and tracking uh, components that allow us to actually track our power usage and see how much power we have remaining in our subsystems. With access to our new facility in the Myhill Center for Engineering and Entrepreneurship for Light Fabrication, as well as the Mars Dome at the Institute for Aerospace Studies for on-site testing, we have been privileged with all of the resources we need to conduct proper validation of our designs. Using our fully functional Phoenix 2.0 rover from last year, the software team has been busily preparing for the autonomous traversal and extreme retrieval tasks by running and evaluating its navigation algorithms in real time. The ARM and mechanical team have collectively tested the rover's ability to carry a variety of objects of different shapes and sizes, ensuring that the rover travels on terrain similar to those found in the URC's desert region. So before we go, we'd like to take the time to thank all of our sponsors for all of their support. Without our in-kind and monetary sponsorships from our university departments and industry collaborators, we wouldn't be where we are today. And most importantly, thank you for watching, and we can't wait to represent U of T at the URC.